Hello everyone, today we met again with me, Lenny Marlena. In this occasion, I'm going to talk about uh, public speaking tips. Are you ready to listen? Yep, here we go. Uh, many people dread public speaking and with good reason, after all, who would want to be in a very vulnerable position, being in front of a crowd under their scrutiny, talking about something you may or may not really know a lot about. In fact, public speaking anxiety may just be hardwired into the human DNA. However, no one is born with a gift for exceptional public speaking. And it's a skill that he is harnessed through practice and experience. Okay, uh, actually there are several tips. Um, the first one, uh, essential body uh, language, okay? Uh, before we can move on with how to design your presentation, let's start with something basic. Uh, <clears throat> first, uh, you have to think about body language that you should keep in mind when delivering a presentation. Uh, think about your message and main idea. Now, let's move on to the orientation of your presentation. As with any talk, seminar, report, or even conversation, you have to have a main idea that anchors every information you're going to put out. The same goes with any public speaking engagement. Whether you are going to talk for five or 50 minutes, you have to have a central message that will tie everything together and give body and flow to your speech. From this message, after all, you can begin to write your script and put together your slides. Next tip is uh, use a clever title to create curiosity. The first few seconds you are on stage is very critical to the success of your public speaking or presentation and defer. Remember, the success of your presentation will also provide you an age in your career, especially in the business setting. Therefore, it pays to pay attention to invest time in honing your skills in public speaking and presentations. The first few seconds you step on stage can already create an impact and make the audience already decide whether they will pay attention to you or not, take you seriously or not. Therefore, pick a great title because your name will be called along with your title as you go on stage with your presentation. Next tip is grab the attention of your audience. It is not enough that you have your audience sitting in front of you. You have to make sure that they stay there hanging on to every word you say. As you introduce your topic with a clever title that gets the crowd curious about what you have to say, you have the first 45 seconds to frame the problem. This is important because this part of your speech is going to address what the rest of your presentation is all about without giving all the answer outright. This is more like a teaser so your audience will pay attention and find themselves seeing value in what you are yet to say. You can use a quick anecdote, a joke, a quotation, or even mention a relevant current event to start your speech. Well, the next tip is list main points and clearly elaborate in your speech. In fact, um, the optim the, there are three main points that you should pay attention. Uh, this gives your speech clear, easily understandable, concise, and memorable. By structuring your presentations and scripts to revolve around five main points, you ensure that you have a short speech that stays within topic and stays interesting as well. So you list main points about five uh, topic, uh, five points, okay? The next tip is audience remember first what they hear last. This principle means that people are bound to remember the last things that they are they hear from your speech. So make the last part of your presentation count and on high note, and you can be sure that your audience will find your presentation effective, successful, and memorable. And the last step is, this is how would you prepare for a presentation? 
being in front of a crowd of people puts one in a defenseless position, helpless from ambush and nothing for cover. These days, thought public speakers only have no one besides themselves, besides themselves in case of scrutiny, uh, criticism, and the fearful sound of boo from the crowd. However, with a bit of practice, practice, keeping in mind that tips given above, you can't be just as good as the best in the business. So the best tip is keeping practice. Well, everybody, that's all about uh, public speaking tips for general. And I'm sure that you have done some tips before and keep doing your best. See you again. Thank you for watching.